what occurs in this in the legitimate two volume edition volume 1 page 189 point number 22 wal imanu bil masih ad-dajjal and to have iman in al masih ad-dajjal the false messiah the dajjal and to have iman in al masih ad-dajjal Sheikh Fawzan said in explanation from the, fun, from the fundamentals of the Ahl al-Sunnah wal-Jama'ah is to have Iman in al-Masih al-Dajjal and he is a man from the descendants of Adam who will emerge amongst the Jews and the Jews will follow him and he is the Mahdi, the Messiah, the Mahdi who the Jews are awaiting because everyone lays claim to the Mahdi this awaited Messiah, the Mahdi everyone lays claim to him the Jews lay claim to him and their Messiah is Al-Masih Al-Dajjal their Messiah he will be Al-Masih Al-Dajjal, the Dajjal. The Shia are waiting for the Mahdi, who is hidden in the cave, as they say, who is from the descendants of Al-Husayn, radiallahu an. Whereas the Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, the people of the Sunnah and the Jama'ah, they are waiting for the Mahdi, whom the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, foretold about in the authentic ahadith which are which are mutawatir in meaning and with regard to the meaning of the ahadith referring to the mahdi then they are mutawatir huge reported in huge numbers the wordings may differ but they agree on that point with regard to foretelling the coming of the mahdi so they are sahiha authentic these narrations from Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa about the mahdi they are authentic and mutawatir in meaning and he will be a man from the family of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from the family of al-hasan ibn ali he'll be from the descendants of the grandson of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam al-hasan ibn ali he will emerge at the end of time and the muslims will give him pledge bay'ah and he will fight jihad in Allah's cause and he will fill the earth with justice and he will lead the Muslims in prayer and whilst they are in that condition Al-Masih Al-Dajjal will emerge so the Muslims will continue to suffer from him Al-Masih Al-Dajjal until Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam descends so there are two Masihs, the two Messiahs. Masih al-Dalala, the Messiah of misguidance. And he is a Dajjal, the Dajjal. And there is Masih al-Hidayah, uh, Masih, literally Messiah, of right guidance. And he is Isa ibn Maryam, alayhi salatu was salam. And the Masih al-Dajjal, he is called Al-Masih. He's given, the Dajjal is given this title Al-Masih because of how quickly he can travel across the earth. It's from the Arabic word Masaha with the meaning of being able to quickly pass over something. Because of the speed at which he'll be able to pass over the earth. Because Allah will make easy well, Allah will prepare for him or make for him means that enable him to proceed quickly upon the earth to cause harm and to bring about evil and tribulations and he is called a dajjal which is from the word a dajjal which means al kadhib means falsehood because the dajjal 
is the one who is extreme in dajjal, in falsehood. And it is falsehood. Dajjal is al kadhib falsehood. Because he is a great liar. It means, so Dajjal, it means one who is great in falsehood. Great in lying. To the extent that he will claim that he is Allah. And the people will be put to trial on account of him. Except for whom Allah, except for whomever Allah makes firm. And there will be with him a garden, Jannah, and a fire. And he will work miracles. But they are khawariq shaitaniyya. The miracles he will work, they are supernatural events of devils. They are not karamat. They are not miracles granted to righteous people. Rather, they are supernatural events or miraculous events of devils. Allah will cause them to occur at his hand as a fitna, as a trial, and as an ibtila, as a test for the servants. So his danger is great. And therefore, the prophets warned against him. And the one who warned most against him is our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he commanded that we should seek refuge from the trial, or from his trial, in our prayers in the last tashahud. When we seek refuge in, in, with Allah from four, from the punishment of hellfire, and from the punishment of the grave, and from the trials of life and death, and from the fitna, from the trial of al Masih al Dajjal. And his fitna, his trial, will be the greatest trial to occur upon the face of the earth, and Allah's refuge is sought. Amen. This is al Masih al Dajjal. And whilst he is like that, and he will of course hardship to the Muslims and harm them and put them to trial, then Al-Masih, the Messiah, Isa ibn Maryam, will descend from heaven. And he will chase the Dajjal and he will kill him and relieve the Muslims from him. And he will take charge of the affair. And he will bring about justice upon the earth. And he will break the cross and kill the, kill the swine, kill the pigs. And no religion will remain except for the religion of Islam. Judaism, Christianity and the religions of the disbelievers will be abolished. And nothing will remain except for Islam. And he will judge with the Sharia, the revealed law given to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he will be a follower of him. Because there is no prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So the Masih, the Messiah, he will descend as a follower of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and as one who judges by his revealed law the Sharia of Islam. This is what will occur with regard to the emergence of the Dajjal and the Nuzul, the descent of the Messiah. Then Shaykh Fawzan said, and Isa is called Masih, Messiah. It is said because he would wipe, yamsah, upon a person suffering an ailment and he would be cured by the permission of Allah. And this was from his miracles, alayhi salatu wassalam. That he would wipe with his hand upon the blind, and the leper, and a person born blind. And his ailment, his illness would pass away by his wiping upon him, alayhi salatu wassalam. So therefore he was called al-Masih, with the meaning of al-Masih, the one who wipes. <coughs> 